hi everyone welcome to my youtube channel in this tutorial i'm going to be showing you how to create copy and delete files and folder from the command prompt all right so i'm just going to come up here and type cmd to open the command prompt all right so i'm just going to move this down a bit and to create a file i'm going to use the command notepad then the name of the file that I want to create, let's say text.txt, a text file. I'm creating a text file. And so on click of enter, so it's gonna prompt me. Do I do I want to create a new file? Then I'm gonna say yes. So then I can type I can type in anything I want, then save and come back here and open it. So I'm still going to see what I typed and you can create any type of file. So let me just create a PDF with part PDF tests dot PDF. All right. So click enter. Then it's going to prompt me again. Do I want to create file? I'm going to say yes. Then because I can see the PDF is there and I'm going to create an a Microsoft Word file, notepad, let's say word tests dot doc x. That's the extension of Microsoft Word. But I don't have Microsoft Word installed in my Windows just for some personal because of some reasons. So if I click on it, it's gonna prompt me and yes. Alright, so because I don't have Microsoft Word, so that's the reason why it's displaying the stuff like this. All right, so and again, if I want to create multiple files at a time, I can create it just Notepad. Let's see, file. <coughs> Sorry, dot PHP, and. Notepad file two dot oh I wrote dot php sorry that was a mistake dot txt and then dot txt file two dot txt and notepad File three dot text txt. So if I click enter, so it's gonna prompt me that do I want to create the, the third one file three dot txt? Yes. So just write anything. Save and close. So the second one too, you're gonna say do you want to create file two dot txt? Yes. And right click on save. And the last thing, if I click on no, so and if I type something like this, and if I click save, it should create it. All right, so I'm just gonna close it, close this, don't save. All right, so that's how to create. And what of folders? Let's create a folder. So to create a folder, I'm gonna use make the the name of the folder that I want to create. Let's say folder tests one. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put this like the current directory folder. Let me write it in full. Folder test one. All right. So click enter. So it will create it. All right. So that's it. Let's just take a look at the folder. And yeah is it so let me just put a let me make it a large icon so that it's going to it's going to be visible All right so um what if you want to create a recursive folder like a a folder that has more than two steps two steps folder like it has a folder that has another folder so let's create the folder like 
folder one going directly folder one or folder two four slash folder three all right so that's the folder that's the recursive folder so it's going to create everything so that's it so as you can see it has created the folder so folder one has folder two and folder two has folder three and folder three is empty all right so that's that for folder so let's see how to copy files so i'm going to copy three files file two file three and pdf test i'm going to copy it into the into this file into this folder folder test one so i'm going to use the command copy and what do i want to copy file two dot dot txt where do i want to copy it to then i'm going to specify folder test one So that's where I want to copy it to. So if I click on enter, so it says one file copied. I can see it is already reflecting there. So this is the file here. And if I go back and if I just type copy the coin directory to SA to inside folder one folder one or at four slash folder two i'm going to copy it inside the folder two that is inside the folder one so let's see so i'm copying everything in the coin directory click and enter so it has a, it's, it says it copied all the four or five files in this coin directory so let's go check it out folder one folder two so th these are all the files that was copied from the from this coin directory all right so what again can we do now let's do delete so to delete i'm just gonna type del so i'm gonna use the you can either use the delete del D E L command or erase command. So because D E L is is uh, short and precise, so I'm gonna be using it. So I'm gonna write D. I'm gonna be deleting file two dot txt. So all right. So it has deleted file two dot txt. All right. So I'm gonna be deleting what if we want to delete everything in a particular directory. So I'm gonna I'm just gonna show everything in this folder, in this folder, this folder test one. So to show it, that's um um here I have then I'm gonna specify which directory. So folder tests one. So that's listed everything in folder test one. Okay. Yeah, so it has only one, it has only one file. Let's go check it out. Alright, this file. Alright, but alright, let's delete the file in that one too before we do another test. So folder folder tests one or file two dot txt so this file or oh, where's the file all right so this is the file file two dot txt and i'm just gonna click on enter okay the system cannot find the path specified okay so let me just type coin directly um okay Folder test one file two dot txt.
maybe I made mistake del folder test one or it.txt okay okay all right so let me just move to the folder the folder test one folder tests one all right so then delete all right let me just list the contents in the current directory so in folder test one these are the um, this is the only file in the in folder test one so i'm gonna delete it the file2.txt so it has been deleted so to check it out let me just write dir to so list it so i can see there's no there's nothing there's there's zero files there's zero files so there's nothing in the directory again all right so what if you want to delete every uh, every files in the directory so i'm just gonna move back to the to the current directory and let's move to this back directory folder one and folder two so we want to delete everything in this folder two so um let's check if you can delete it from here folder one or four slash folder two and everything that is in folder two so it's going to ask as as uh, it's going to prompt me that am i sure i want to delete everything the asterisk means everything yes then i'm going to say yes so immediately i click on so it's going to delete every files there i can see all the files are gone now so that's how to delete all the files in the in the in a in a directory all right so be careful on um, about how you use the the del or erase command so it deletes it, it deletes files all right so uh, there are lots of commands too that you can run on command prompt just type help so these are all the commands that i can i can that you can that you can run you can move files you can move files from one directory to another all right so this is the video please subscribe to my youtube channel if you like this video give it a thumb up and subscribe to my youtube channel if you don't like it just give it a thumb down and tell me the reason why you don't like it all right see you in the next tutorial